Hey, Mustafa Adib has gone from being a little-known diplomat to Lebanon's prime minister-designate. Sectarian leaders have tasked him with forming a government. With the country in overwhelming crisis, Adib says there's no time for words and promises. The opportunity before our country is limited, and the task I've accepted is based on the fact that all political forces are aware of a need to form a government in record time and to begin implementing reforms immediately, starting with an agreement with the International Monetary Fund. He's a Sunni Muslim, which makes him eligible to rule under Lebanon's factional power-sharing agreement. He's also reportedly supported by Hezbollah and former heavyweight premiers like Saad Hariri. It's an anointment far removed from the president's calls a day earlier to change the system. Because I believe that only a secular state is capable of protecting and preserving pluralism in true unity. I call for the proclamation of Lebanon as a secular state. Adib will now have to form a government capable of pushing through long overdue economic reforms. But he faces the almost impossible challenge of embodying change among the people after being picked by the political establishment. We announce our complete rejection and participation in every government that the system will form in accordance with its standards. We don't want a consensual government or a military government or a government of quotas or any government imposed from outside. Lebanon's kleptocracy has driven the country into its worst economic crisis in decades. Anti-government protests had been seething before the Beirut port explosion on August 4th, which pushed tens of thousands into poverty and forced the government to resign. It's unlikely the public will be satisfied with Adib's ability to root out corruption, as a captain's pick made by Lebanon's heredity ruling elite. Liz Maddock, TRT World.